What about patients who are breast cancer survivors? It's a very controversial topic. What's your approach in terms of bioidentical hormones? It is, it is interesting how if you look at the actual literature, there is a lot of published peer-reviewed literature that shows the breast cancer survivors, if you put them on estrogen, they live longer and higher quality of lives. Now, <clears throat> breast cancer used to be breast cancer. Today, breast cancer is many breast cancers because we're getting smarter. We see different receptor types, different physiological and biological interactions. We have different markers, you know, like, you know, you're positive, you're negative, and the HR2. It's getting even more complicated than that now. Now they're being associated to their alpha receptor, to the beta receptor, all beautiful stuff. What does that mean, though? It means that when you have a person who comes in with the quality of life issues of the breast cancer survivor, who many times are on anti estrogen medications like the aromatase inhibitors, which make them feel very miserable as far as symptoms, but they also eat away at their bones and basically create more um, aging than necessary. Basically, it becomes um, a very detailed and complex mission of going in and working out the, the specific details of that particular patient and come up with the plan, which is the most rational for that person. I appreciate how carefully you've answered this question. I hope that uh, the oncologist friends who are listening are, uh, you know, breathing a sigh of relief. I, I think this kind of coordination and collaboration with our oncologist colleagues is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also, I just want to highlight, since I gave a talk on this recently, we know the aromatase inhibitors and also radiation for breast cancer is associated with a greater cardiovascular risk. So we have to, it's a very complex matrix that we're managing in breast cancer survivors. 